heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people I just want to welcome you to another 3ABN Today cooking program. My name is Jill Morricone and just we are so delighted that you have taken time from your day to sit down to copy these recipes and to learn from some incredible Christians and incredible cooks. <laughs> Our special guest today is Heidi's Health Kitchen and we first became acquainted with Heidi's Health Kitchen several years ago and we've been so blessed. I know my husband Greg and I and the entire ministry here at 3ABN has been blessed by their ministry, by their heart for evangelism and their food. They have great food. So I'm so excited to introduce to you today Heidi Tompkins and Ivan Raj. And we're so glad both of you came from New York over here to Illinois to share your, your talents and your gifts with our 3ABN family. Amen. We're Thank glad you. to be here. <laughs> so tell me, I know you're not a stranger to 3ABN, but maybe someone's watching for the first time sure. and they've never heard about Heidi's Health Kitchen. So what is Heidi's Health Kitchen sure. all about? So Heidi's Health Kitchen is a health food ministry. We give cooking classes, health lectures, and Bible studies. And we also specialize in frozen desserts, which we'll be making today. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> we also operate a pop-up restaurant in Manhattan and Long Island as well. Okay. So how long has Heidi's Health Kitchen been in operation? For the last three years. Okay. And actually it's right now three and a half years and we've been offering Bible studies to people in different parts of the planet through phone. Amen. And our business, which is Heidi's Health Kitchen, supports our ministry. Our Bible work. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Because God Amen. has given you this business model. And of course, yeah. healthy eating yeah. helps clear our minds so yes. we can hear the voice of God. Amen. But then that helps support the Bible work. Amen. Absolutely. I remember you all came. We had a winter camp meeting. This was down in Florida. Yeah. Yep. And you came. I think that was the first time we really connected. Yes. Yes. And Heidi said, I've got these great karubis I'm going to bring. And we got some here. <laughs> They're fabulous. <laughs> you have all different Praise kinds of God. karubis. Yes, this we one do. is Black Forest, and what yes. are some of the other kinds? Yes, so we make an original, which would just be carob. We make a salted almond. We make Black Forest, which is our top seller. We flavor it with a sweet almond oil, and there's a cherry in the center of each piece. Each piece. <laughs> and we also make cashew coconut, which is my personal favorite. Pistachio. Coconut. And mint chip. Nice. I'm not sure I've ever had the cashew coconut. I've had a nut lovers <laughs> one. So maybe okay, would it's it have been there. there. It's okay. the square. Okay, the square. <laughs> nice. No, that's wonderful. And today we are doing all kinds of yummy frozen desserts, aren't we? Yes. Delectable desserts? Delectable desserts. <laughs> Let's take a look at what we will be making today. We're starting with the carob nut clusters. Boy, that looks good. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> and raw peanut butter balls. Yep, we sell those. Those are our favorite. Nice. <laughs> and carob nut butter cups. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> and these are all frozen. Yes. yes. Nice. And berry tart squares. Look at that. That's really pretty. Yeah, those were pretty. Yes, mm -hmm. nice. And all and raw ice cream? Yes. Yes, raw ice cream sandwiches. Sandwiches. Ooh. Because you know we all love ice cream sandwiches, right? Of course. But we want to have them healthy. Nice. <laughs> and I don't know how to pronounce the last one. The last one is called payasam which is actually a South Indian delectable dessert. Nice. <laughs> so we got to have, uh, I guess, American cuisine, and then we have to add in the Indian, right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so all of these desserts that we're making today, are they all raw? They're not all raw. OK. But they can be. They can be made raw. Nice. There's Except variations that you, can be, <laughs> that you can do to make them raw. OK, wonderful. That's great. So let's get started. We're going to read our first recipe. And let's read that for the carob nut clusters. Yes. So for carob nut clusters, we need three teaspoons of go fig grounds, a half cup maple syrup, a third of a cup of coconut oil melted, a half cup carob powder, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, which is optional, a dash of salt, a quarter cup of almonds, macadamias, or dried cherries of your choice. Nice. So what are go fig grounds? So go fig grounds, <laughs> so uh, we, we sell a 
coffee substitute that's called GoFig. Oh. And instead of being made from dry roasted coffee beans, it's made from sun-dried and roasted figs, and then they're ground. Mm -hmm. And you brew it just like coffee. It's not instant. Okay. So you have to brew it or steep it, and but it's made entirely of figs. Really? Yeah. Boy, that's incredible. So where do you get the ideas? You know, if I went to the kitchen and I said, well, I'm going to create something, <laughs> it would not maybe be a, such a good thing. So where do you even get the idea to say, well, I can use figs and this can become a coffee substitute? You know, to be honest, I really just pray. Wow. Even with the Karubis, we started with one flavor, which is today our crunch. It looks like a little Nestle's Crunch Bar. And I had shared them with Ivan, and he said, okay, this is great. We got to do something with this. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll pray about other flavors. And I prayed, and God gave me every single one. Amen. Well, you know, that's a gift. Yeah. I mean, obviously. It's a real blessing. It is. And I'm that's, we can, when we cook and we see God's blessing continually, yes. we know this Amen. is his plan. Amen. But you know, I could get in the kitchen and I could pray and I might not come up with the same inspiration. <laughs> so that means that God is giving you a gift and you're using the gift Amen. he's giving you for that. So Amen. let's see how we make these. <laughs> sure. So for this, we just want to ground up the grounds a little bit more. Can They're pretty fine. Oh, this sure. That's the fig. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's great. It's real tasty. We serve it cold in the summertime in our pop-up restaurant, iced, and we serve it warm or hot in the wintertime. Nice. So we're just going to give these a quick buzz in the blender. We just want to get the grounds a little bit fine. Okay. And then to that, we're going to start adding our other ingredients. <laughs> see the powder there. I see powder going on. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and add our coconut oil, melted. Then we're going to add our maple syrup. We yes. always want to add the liquids first mm -hmm. in a dish like this. This is actually going to create a fairly tight carob that we're then just going to dip the almonds into. Nice, okay. So we're going to add our carob powder. Yeah. And that's going to get a little powder going on, yep. too. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're adding a little bit of cinnamon. We try to use, whenever possible, Ceylon cinnamon. Ceylon. It's much less uh, irritative, and nice. it gives that flavor as well of yeah. cinnamon. Uh, but it's a much healthier cinnamon if you're going to use one. OK, so we're going to blend this. Nice. We gotta make sure the lid's on tight. We got some powder going on. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be tight, but we're just gonna try to mix it up as quick as possible. Okay, and then we're gonna spoon that into our bowl. Oh. Got it? Yes, let me just. Got to get everything off of it. <laughs> <laughs> so for our viewers at home, if you're looking to make a carob sauce, you know, like a chocolate sauce, such a simple and easy recipe. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now, it doesn't look like a mousse. It looks more like a sauce. Yeah, it, yeah it's a sauce. very, very it's thick, thick, yeah, very thick sauce. Nice. So we're going to scrape as much of this out as we can. However, I don't spend too much time scraping this out because There's a reason. what I love about this most is now making a little mocha oh. drink. So we're going to add oh, yes. Oh, yes. some milk, just like how we would normally clean our, blend, our blender with you know, water and soap. Before we do that, we don't want to let any of this go That's to waste. Right. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to make a little drink. So that's a great way to get, get it all. Yes, yeah, so we didn't get it all there. There's still some in there, but... But if you're doing it at home, you can do that. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> nice. All right, so Yay! give that a try. <laughs> and we'll keep working on these. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our almonds right into the carob mix. Oh, that's fabulous. That is a very <laughs> good drink. 
Mm-hmm. Tasty, right? <laughs> oh, very Fun. This is beyond tasty. <laughs> so you know, I'm having the rest make... of this. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, a little chocolate milk for your kids, mm -hmm. right? Or a carob mm -hmm. milk or something like that. That's great. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you mix the almonds right in it? Yes, yep. So if you wanted to do, if I were going to do the other versions, if I was going to do a cherry or a macadamia, I would split this up into three bowls, put, you know, the nut or the cherry in each. I don't mix them together. Okay. And then we just cover them, and then we just spoon them out. Mm. <laughs> spoon them out and put them on a mm. sheet. Quick uh, tip. We're going to do it quickly because mm -hmm. the coconut oil will start to get... Hard. It's going to harden. Yes. 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 Okay, that's a great tip. <laughs> so you got it on some parchment paper and then... Yep, parchment or freezer paper will work. And it goes in the fridge? Freezer. It can go in the fridge. I prefer the fridge because um, the first time I made this up, I put it in the freezer and then when I went to bite on a nut, I thought I was going to break my tooth. <laughs> so <laughs> you could certainly put it in the freezer for maybe yes. like 10 minutes to harden the carob and not freeze the nut. Nice. But uh, really good. I'm gonna try one over yes, here. Yes, give one a try. Mm, these were in the free fridge, right? Yep. So it's a tasty little treat that you can make for your family or your friends. Mm. It doesn't take much time at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's beyond tasty. That's really good. This Thanks is God. my day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to our next recipe. Yes. You want to read that, Ivan? Sure. Please? Raw peanut butter balls. One and a quarter cup almonds raw. Twenty medjool dates pitted. 5 teaspoon vanilla flavoring, 5 tablespoon peanut butter, 5 tablespoon tahini. So these peanut butter balls is a creation you came up with, Ivan? Yes. <laughs> oh my God's grace, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so not just Heidi comes up with Heidi comes up with the recipes, but you do, Ivan. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a whole miracle story yes. about Ivan cooking. Which, <laughs> just to summarize briefly, when we started Heidi's Health Kitchen, Ivan had never cooked before or never even <laughs> been in the kitchen. Oh wow! And he <laughs> was very adaptive. He learned very quickly, which was I was very grateful for. It was a real <laughs> blessing to me. But you know, there's a quote in the Spirit of Prophecy. Uh, I believe it's an, in Council on Diet and Foods that says anyone who earnestly seeks the Lord wanting to make wholesome nutrition recipes, the Lord will answer that prayer. Amen. And so that was paraphrasing, but that's basically what it says. And Ivan now <laughs> makes unbelievable food. When We've had Indian dishes at, at other restaurants that, you know, weren't maybe plant-based and and I've said oh I really love this and he's made it plant-based better than the other restaurant Whoa. and so God has really given him an amazing gift as well Praise the Lord. <laughs> that's wonderful yes amen okay so okay, what do we do here so the raw peanut butter balls um, okay there you go Sorry. So food the processes are always difficult they're all yeah. different too <laughs> different yes so I'm going to be adding almonds first mm -hmm. and um, it's actually one and a quarter cup of almonds, actually. And um, we're going to be pouring this here. And then um, we got to Just got to break those up. OK. Yeah. All right, let's see. Other side. OK. No, nope, other way. Just It clicks in the other way. This way? Yes, that way. <laughs> there it's go. totally opposite from ours at home. So we have to pulse it just a little bit, just a little bit, and then, uh, sorry. No, you're <laughs> and good. And then we're going to add some medjool dates to it. Oh, I like medjool dates. And um, <laughs> these are a little dry, mm -hmm. medjool, and um, so I'm going to put a few of them here. You've Actually, already pitted 20. them. Yeah, already pitted them. Yeah. Okay, pitted that's medjool. important. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We'd be having a mess if we had pits in here. Yeah, okay. So. Um, we're going to process it again. Thank you. All right. Um, next is I'm going to add a little bit of the vanilla flavoring. Nice. And um, let's process it once more. This is a very quick and very easy recipe. So I'm sure everybody can make this at home. Yeah. All right. A little bit. All right, and then. So you still got some pretty good chunks in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And once we add these others, then we'll let it run until it 
congeals yeah. together and breaks yeah. down the rest. So the tahini is going in now. <laughs> nice. And then um, after this, okay, let me scrape off a little bit here. Tahini would give it really good flavor. Mm, yeah. It sure does. Mm -hmm. And then peanut butter. Make Ooh. sure you get the oil also. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter. This, now this looks like natural crunchy peanut butter it is. is what you're doing. Yes. Okay. Yes. We like crunchy in this. It just adds to the texture. It would indeed. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then all the red one. Um, uh, just gonna help Looks it like bit. it's getting in a stuck in a side there. Yeah. <laughs> just wanna help it a little bit. Ooh, smells good. <laughs> it's that peanut butter. Greg would love this. He likes anything with peanut butter. <laughs> nice. We have some for him then. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be delighted. We need to run it some more. Yes. yes. It's not cooperating very well, it's just sticking on one side. We try one more time? Sure. Yep. So normally you'd blend it a little more. Yeah, yes. a little bit more. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to transfer this um, into the bowl. Mm -hmm. I'll just show you what I do just with this one set. Mm -hmm. um, we can actually roll this Ooh, into a ball. Nice. Um, I like that. Or if you're not used to do, using your hands or fingers, and then you can use this scooper. A scoop ah. scooper? Uh -huh. Which is what I'm going to be using to make 350 raw peanut butter balls for the camp meeting at 3 a.m. That's right. <laughs> Yay. We brought Heidi's Health Kitchen in to do food for camp meetings, so that's a blessing. Yes. <laughs> nice. So okay. that's how we got to line it up. Um, and then they go in the fridge? Freeze fridge. Yep. These fridge. can be refrigerated. And how long do they sit in the fridge for? Um, they Probably about 20 minutes to half an yeah. hour. Oh, so they're ready pretty soon. Yeah, we yeah just to them up. I'm going to grab off of your... Absolutely. Go for it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. That's very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> Good They're very flavor. popular. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I can see why. Absolutely. <laughs> There's a lot of protein as well mm -hmm. in it from the peanut. I'm sorry, from the from the nuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and the, nuts, the tahini. peanut butter, tahini. Mm. A lot of protein. This is very good. Let's go to our next recipe. We're going to make carob nut butter cups. For the shell ingredients, you need a quarter cup tahini, quarter cup coconut cream, quarter cup maple syrup, two tablespoons coconut oil melted three tablespoons carob powder, seven drops vanilla cream stevia, and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. For the filling ingredients, you need four tablespoons nut butter of your choice, two tablespoons maple syrup. I think this is my day because I love desserts. <laughs> and these look almost like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Sorry. Yes, they are very much like a Reese's peanut are butter cup. Are they really? Cup, except for with carob. Nice. Instead of okay. chocolate. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do a little layer going on. Yes. Yep. Nice. Yep, we'll show you how to do it. Good. Great. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, mix some of these items into a food processor. This will give us our chocolate or carob yes. layer, the outer covering. Tahini. So we've got tahini. Yep. We're using coconut cream, and the way that you make or that you get coconut cream is you take a can of coconut milk, mm -hmm. as long as it doesn't have emulsifiers, mm -hmm. and you stick it in the fridge overnight. And it separates. It separates, <laughs> and we're using the cream. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's great. And so that just gives a thickness and a texture that, that we really need, and just how it gets real thick in the yes. fridge, then this will keep this thickened up as well. Yeah. Maple syrup? Maple syrup, yep. We're adding our carob powder. Nice. We're adding that vanilla cream stevia. If someone can't find that, they could use regular stevia with okay. a vanilla flavor. Nice, okay. Okay. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. We'll get that mixed up. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm just going to scrape down the sides a little bit because we really need that coconut cream. Yes. Because that's really your thickening agent. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we use the coconut cream in a lot of frozen desserts because it really helps with the texture right. and with the hardening. And you know what? The flavor, the flavor of yeah. coconut is just fabulous. Yeah. Yes. Who doesn't like coconut, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope no one's allergic. That would be a horrible problem. <laughs> okay, that's good. So now nice. we're going to use a pastry bag for this. Ooh, if you didn't have one, fun. you could you could just spoon it into mm -hmm. the cups. What we did was we used a mini muffin pan mm -hmm. and we lined it with candy cups. Nice. And so we're going to make them in candy cups, just like how a Reese's peanut butter cup is in a candy cup. It. Yeah. That's great. Okay, so we just want to get all this good stuff. We'll put that there for the moment. And I will transfer this to our pastry bag. Nice. It's a great idea to stick it in the, in the cup. I like that. Yeah. The pastry bag in the cup. It makes idea. it a lot easier. Oh, yes. <laughs> to work with. Yeah. Less messy. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be our bottom layer. Okay. It's also going to be our top layer, so we oh. want to get all of that. Okay. When we start Heidi's Health Kitchen, we actually start off making desserts first. Is that, was that your first? Um, One of our, push? yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then later on, of course, God gave us opportunities to even start catering yes. to Adventist churches and some corporate companies as well. That's wonderful. <laughs> and you also do cooking schools? Yes, and classes. Yes. Amen. Okay, so being in the pastry bag, it's going to be a lot easier to work with. And let me just grab nice. this up here. So you oh. put just a little bit in the bottom of yep, each Yep, we're going to put a little bit in the bottom of each. I love it. Nice. So you make your karubis like this with we the do. pastry bag? <laughs> we do. <laughs> yes. Woo. That's a lot it. of work. Yeah, I love it. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so now we're going to make the peanut butter filling. And of course, you can use your nut butter of choice. Mm -hmm. We are um, going to save the rest of this because this is also our... Your topping. Topping, yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'll stick this in the fridge right that now. That would be great. While yes. you work on the peanut butter filling. Okay, and so for the peanut butter filling, uh, we're just mixing our nut butter with maple syrup. So let me get that nut butter in there to a bigger bowl. Are we using the food processor again? Um, no, we don't okay. need to. This part can be done by hand. Okay. Okay, and we just nice. want to keep working this until it's all mixed in together. It, the maple syrup sweetens up the nut butter a little bit and yeah. loosens it up a little bit so it's easier to work with. Yes, because the nut butter would be very stiff. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that. And then this helps with the texture too when you're freezing so that the nut butter is not so yeah. solid that yep. you don't break a tooth <laughs> when you <laughs> bite into it. That would we be don't important. We want broken teeth. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you come up with the name Heidi's Health Kitchen? You know, that's an interesting story. So actually, Ivan was, Ivan and I were fasting and praying about the name. And um, Ivan called me uh, after, you know, towards the end of our fast, and he said, God gave me the name. And prior to that, he was thinking the name should be something like, you know, New York, Karubi, <laughs> right? or New York something. He wanted from New York. Yeah. the New York City yeah. to be in there. Yeah. <laughs> but God had a completely different wow. idea. So that's how Heidi's Health Kitchen. But when I called her and said, hey, this is the name, we're going to have Was to the name up. Heidi's Health Kitchen? Was that yes, the that's the name God gave him. Yeah. Oh. But then she said, oh, interesting. When I was eight years old, I had a cookbook, and I named it Heidi's Kitchen. So. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that neat? God puts a dream years ago. Yeah. yeah. You know, in your heart, yeah. something. And then all of a sudden, he works to bring that dream to fruition. True. Amen. It's so true that yes. God gives us the desires of our heart. <laughs> and he added the health message in there, which we're just yeah. thrilled about. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So let me go get that. Normally, sure, you would let yes. it sit for how long before you get Probably it? Probably about five to ten minutes in between each layer. Okay. Well, it hasn't been that long, but we'll pull That's it. That's okay. We'll do it anyway. 
Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do just you put a little bit in the center. Got it. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Yeah. That's great. And then you'd put this on the top? And then we're putting Let's that on the top. That so the Ivan, top if there. you want to sure. do the rest of these and I'll switch to this one. Yep. I'm just going to... Let's see. Do we, can I use that green stuff? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll just wipe that off. If your pastry bag gets uneven or if uh -huh. you need to move things down, you can just scrape it scrape it down. Oh. So we're going to scrape this stuff down because we need... Right. You need it at the tip. We need it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need all of it. We need it. Oops, Oops, there we go. It's starting to come it's out. It's ready. And so then we're just going to go around this and we're going to cover. Nice. I see that. And normally you'd have it sit 10 minutes in the fridge yeah. between. Correct. Right. And so it would be yeah. hard. Right. But this is still liquid enough that it'll fill in, you know, oh, it'll yeah. fill in all of that that's great. Now you store them in the fridge or the freezer? Uh, these actually can be just refrigerated. Okay. With the coconut cream in there, they're going to get nice and firm. Nice. So I got one here. See if I can break off. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the supersized version. <laughs> Does that mean I can't eat all this? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> That's great. I love You'll that. You'll have to share the rest with the Greg. <laughs> I will do that. We'll split this one. That's fabulous. Let's go to our next recipe here. You want to read that for us, Heidi? Our next recipe is berry tart squares. And for this recipe, for the base, we'll be using one cup of oats, a half cup almonds, a quarter cup shredded coconut, five dates pitted, three tablespoons coconut oil melted, a pinch of salt, and for the filling, the berry layer filling, we need 10 ounces of coconut cream, one cup blueberries, one cup raspberries, a tablespoon of coconut oil melted, and one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. Yummy. Think of all those berries. In yes. There. Yeah, I love <laughs> that. And it looks so pretty. Yes, I love the color of it, right? Me too. Absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> so we have both. So, we got the processor and the blender. Yes, going on. we need a couple of machines here. We're going to use the food processor for the base and the Vitamix or a blender for the filling part. Okay. And we're going to show you how to put it together. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so while I'm adding the base ingredients, Ivan will be putting the filling ingredients into the Vitamix. And the most important part of this base recipe is that we need dates and we need coconut oil. That is what will make it stick together. And so you have the oats and the almonds and the medjool dates. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are the keys to this base. Nice. I like it. And that's the coconut oil. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is coconut oil as well. Oh, okay. Good. Nice. So over there, Ivan, you're just putting, you have yes. the coconut. Yes, and the berries. Nice. And, uh, you use the fresh, frozen? We use frozen for this. It's a frozen dessert because it helps it to freeze up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. If you were doing it at home and you had fresh berries, you would just need to leave it in the freezer probably overnight. But when you use frozen berries, then it'll, it'll firm up and thicken yeah. even quicker. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> great. So if you're making it in a hurry, use frozen berries. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start getting this going. Okay, that's good. It really doesn't need a lot of breaking up. We just want it to be a crumbly. This is like a crumb, crumb topping or a crumble base. Crust. crust. Yeah, yep, a, a crust or a base. And so we're going to show you a couple of different ways to do this. Um, one of my favorite ways is to make little mini tarts. Ooh, yes. <laughs> or we can uh, put these items into a bread loaf pan. And then when nice. it's frozen, we would just pull out our freezer paper and then just slice it with a knife to make squares. Oh, that's a great So a couple idea. of different ways to make it, and it's really, really fun and easy. So while you okay. take this off, Ivan's going to blend over here? Yes. Okay. 
Nice. Okay. okay. Great. So the filling is ready. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of this into the mini tart pan or the mini muffin mold. Now you don't want to use any little liner or something? It's not needed. Oh. When these come out of the freezer, okay. all you have to do is take a butter knife and rub it around the ring and it lifts it right up. Nice. Yeah, okay. it's so easy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put a little bit of this in each. Usually I, I use about a teaspoon okay. in so each of these. we're talking little. <laughs> yep, little. And then you just, you can use your fingers or you can use the back of a spoon and you're it. going to press them down. And then in the loaf pan, we're going to just pour, let's see, okay. we're going to pour some of this crust in. Nice. And we're going to do the same thing and press it down. It's a great crust. Yeah. A nice crust. Healthy. Mm -hmm. Sweet with the date. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right. It's excellent. So we need yeah. a little bit more. You just want to fill all the corners. Okay. Nice. And then all you do is pour the filling on top and stick it in the freezer. Boy, that's perfect. It's pretty so quick to easy. make. It just needs some freezing time. So if you just plan in advance. Nice. Well, that's great. So you can pour most of it there. Ivan will leave a little bit for some of the little mini tarts. Okay. Nice. Just pour it right over the top. You know, it looks like a smoothie. It does, right? <laughs> <laughs> like a nice it does berry look like smoothie, a smoothie going on. Okay, so I I'll spread that. this out. And then, um, Ivan, there we could just go. pour a little bit into these cavities. You want this? Yes, yeah. that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I love that. So you just pour it until it fills up to the yes, top? Yes, you just fill it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. nice. And this you just want to smooth out to the edges. Mm -hmm. Now this one, when it comes out, you can pull it out because of the paper. Yes, exactly. So this one, you want to use freezer paper for sure. Okay. Because then be... you just pull it out and it's so easy. I love So that. easy to cut. And we have some that are all done over here. I'm yes, going to grab do. one. Yeah, grab a mini. Nice. So this is like one of the ones from Exactly. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Oh, that's very good. Excellent. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of antioxidants as well, so very healthy. So you can eat dessert and feel good while you eat dessert. Exactly. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. You know, when we started <laughs> Heidi's Health Kitchen, I felt like, you know, so many of these desserts are filled with sugar and calories, but empty calories. So we need to make whole food plant-based desserts that actually will give us nutrition instead of empty calories. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's incredible. It's very good. So when you do cooking schools, do people get their hands in and get to work with it? or In Cook With Us programs, yes. Okay. When, they, when they do the Cook With Us program, which is our uh, hands-on hands cooking on. class. We do cooking demonstrations where people sit in the audience and they watch what we're doing. They get a sample of what we're making. They get to taste it. They take home the recipe. But in our Cook With Us program, it's a hands-on cooking class. We rent a gourmet commercial kitchen in New York City and we can house up to 15 students and they come. All they have to bring is themselves. We've got all the machines. We've aprons. got all the ingredients. We give them aprons and they come and we cook an entire five-course meal. And Ooh. they take home everything they make. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah. But see, the thing is, it's practical. Because then, how am I supposed to know how to fix this? Right. It's like, okay, I can watch something on 3BN. And then, well, maybe I can try it at home. But it's so <laughs> nice to actually get your hands in the kitchen. Absolutely. Say, now, this is what it looks like. Now, this is how I do yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's a great idea. And I found that once you make a recipe once, it's so much easier to make it again. The second and the third time becomes so much easier. So, like, when we do our cooking classes for Thanksgiving or Christmas, those holidays, we're teaching people what they can make for Thanksgiving dinner or for Christmas dinner. And if you've made it once, then it's not intimidating anymore. That's right. I love this. The berry <laughs> is fabulous. Let's go to our next recipe. You want to read that for us, Ivan. Raw ice cream sandwiches. Two cups of raw almonds soaked. Two cups of pitted dates soaked. Six tablespoons carob powder. And then for the strawberry ice ingredients, ice cream ingredients, four bananas frozen, one bag frozen strawberries, which is actually 12 ounces, one frozen apple juice concentrate, that is six ounce can, half a cup of raw cashews. I can't believe you can eat plant-based, healthy, but ice cream sandwiches. 
Yes. To me, that's just something you go and you buy in the store. And, and I love ice cream sandwiches, but we're going to make plant-based healthy ones. Yes, we are. Wow, that's exciting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we got the food processor out again and the blender. Blender, yes. yes. Okay. And for this, we're doing a strawberry ice cream filling, but of course, you can make any flavor that you want. We're adding strawberries. If you just wanted to do vanilla, you would just probably add more cashews and maybe a vanilla flavor. Nice. That way it'll be white. You could use coconut cream instead of the strawberries. I like it. And that's just how you make things up. <laughs> have you made it with pistachios? We like haven't. Ooh. That would be <laughs> We make a pistachio ice cream. I was though. thinking about that. We that's do. why we make came several to mind. flavors of ice cream. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yummy. What do we do here? Great. So what we're going to do, the first thing that we need to do for this base, because it's going to be very tight and very thick with the dates and the almond, is first we need to break up all the almonds. Now you've soaked them. Yes, they've been soaked. How long did you soak them for? We soaked them overnight. Okay. And the purpose of that is... If you didn't have overnight, is... you would want at least four hours. And so nuts naturally create, naturally contain um, enzyme inhibitors. Mm -hmm. And what that means, an enzyme inhibitor is something that can be hard for us to digest. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think God put that in there naturally to protect these things for us because animals don't go for these things. Where they'll go for berries, right. they don't go for nuts because of those enzyme inhibitors. Okay. And so... Even squirrels? I think even squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> I just put her on the spot. <laughs> um, but so all we have to do, just like with, uh, we had another item, the nettle tea, where we soaked or we applied heat to eliminate the stinging nettle so to neutralize. Here you soak. With nuts you and oats and anything that contains those enzyme inhibitors, you can either heat or we can soak. And that's often why you'll see nuts roasted. Yes, okay. Why some people might be, they consider, I'm allergic to this nut, and maybe they're not. Maybe it Correct. has to do with that enzyme inhibitor. Correct. It just needs to be broken down. Correct, yeah. and okay. then it would be more digestible to them. Right, okay. So we're gonna break these up. That's good. We just need nice. them broken up. And of course the soaking helps with the with the machine processes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and so now we're going to go ahead and add our pitted dates. These are medjulian? These medjool, medjool dates. And they've also been soaked. And for this, it just really adds to the texture and helps with the blending. And it will and give you some sweetness. It will give us sweetness, yes. Are we gonna fit all this in here? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's try a little bit at a time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good call. Okay. So we're going to take. To get thick. We are. We're going to take actually some of the broken up cashews out. Okay. Once the dates are broken up, they'll reduce in size. Right. And of course, if you have a larger. Uh, <laughs> a larger food container, processor. food processor. It's going to work better. Like I do at home, I can fit all of this in mine at home. Yeah. But no problem, we'll just adjust. Okay, that's perfect. They're starting to get all blended up. And so we're going to add a little bit of salt to this as well. Okay, all those dates are almost broken up, I so now is that. the point when we want to add our carob powder because nice. we want this to be brown, just like an ice cream sandwich. You know, okay. the top and the bottom layer are brown, like chocolate, but we're going to use carob. Okay. Nice. So that's really helpful to know because you think, okay, if my food processor at home is small, then you can take it in portions. Correct. You can take the recipe and you could maybe cut it in half and do a little yes, bit. Yes, absolutely. And then put that somewhere else and then do a little bit more. Yes, and definitely. there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. Okay. So it's right we'll over here. It's like, where did the light go? <laughs> Okay, oh, yeah. so now that 
this is much reduced, mm -hmm. we could add in a little bit more of those uh, Almonds, if we wanted to do the full recipe, but I think if we just scrape this down and blend it one more time, we'll be able to put that into our pan. That sounds perfect. So we'll pretend we have everything in there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's great. And so for this, we're just using a bread loaf pan mm -hmm. that you probably already have in your home, and we just lined it with freezer paper. Mm -hmm. And so what we're gonna do now is we're going to press the, uh, the base ingredients mm -hmm. into the bottom of our pan, and mm -hmm. this will be that bottom layer of our ice cream sandwich. Nice. And of course, you don't wanna put all of this in because we need a top <laughs> layer too. Right, so you, <laughs> so you would wanna use half. Mm -hmm half of this and then you just want to coat the bottom cover the bottom and so while i'm finishing this ivan can make our strawberry ice cream absolutely nice. <laughs> so i'm going to add the frozen bananas first yep. they make it nice and creamy and they give a good sweet yes definitely mm -hmm. extra uh, fiber too some nuts now did you soak those cashews uh these are not soaked okay because uh, yes. we have this liquid okay Nice. And um, strawberries. Um, when people are stressed or if they're in a bad mood, when you have a few strawberries, that changes your mood. Does it really? Happy. It really wow. does. Yes. So these are certain things that right. God has blessed us. Well, then you eat a lot of strawberries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do the very happy My person. natural relaxer and, and happiness maker. Yeah. <laughs> of course, happiness is the Lord. But That's we love right. strawberries That's and right. all the other things he created. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when the filling is done, we'll just pour that right on top of this. It'll then need to sit in the freezer. Okay. Before we could put the rest of the top layer on, otherwise it'll just- Because this has to- harden. Has to be hardened. Otherwise it'll just press into a mess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make some noise. Good. Let's actually blend a little bit longer. We want uh, uh, people to know that we want the cashews all to be broken up. Okay. So we'll just do another quick blend. Once it's smooth, it's ready. So you have to put this in the freezer first before you add the strawberry, no? Um, you can, okay. you can, it'll give you a cleaner finished product. Okay. But we're gonna go ahead and pour the strawberry filling on and then yes. put it in the freezer. Okay, perfect, nice. And then we would stick it in the freezer, then we would harden till yes. it's hard. Yes, once the ice cream layer is hard, mm -hmm. then we can put the rest of our top layer on, and then I would probably stick it back in the freezer so that it's easier to slice through when we take this out, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. like the berry yep. tart squares, yep. and then we'll be able to slice it. Nice and it looks and easy. like that. Yes, Ooh, exactly. I love it, that's perfect. <laughs> you think I can bite into one of those? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, they feel like they're a little soft right now because they've been sitting out here. Oh boy. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. This is good. You've got to try these. Mmm. <laughs> I love the crust. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. Let's read our last recipe. Sure. sure. So the last recipe is called piasum. And for piasum, we need three quarter cup brown rice vermicelli. We need a quarter cup of sago, which is also tapioca. We need an eighth of a teaspoon of green cardamom powder, one cup of almond creamer, one cup of water, a half cup cashews and raisins, a pinch of saffron and a pinch of salt. So we're ending with an Indian dessert. Yes, a South Indian dessert. Okay, now are you from South India? Yes, I'm from South India, mm -hmm. okay. from a place called Chennai. Oh, yeah. okay. So this is a very popular dessert. And um, 
We're going to first roast the nuts and the raisins a little bit. And the heat is already on. Oh, great. Um, actually, not now. There we go. <laughs> no. and, uh, so these are cashews and raisins? Cashews and raisins, yes. And uh, we're just going to toast them a little bit until they turn light brown. Nice. And then the raisins will start to swell a little bit once it gets heated up. So once that is done, we, then we can transfer it to here. And I also nice. have the water boiling because we had to bo boil the water mm -hmm. um, before we wind the Add the vermicelli, yeah. right? Let's, let's uh, So add we're the ready to add that. So we're using brown rice vermicelli. We're brown, gonna... brown rice vermicelli. I love it. That's great. Okay. <laughs> and that cooks really fast because it it's, really it's does. so thin. It's so thin. Yeah. And then in addition, we're going to be adding tapioca. Tapioca. Oh, you cook it with the brown rice from some? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And also, the vermicelli that we used just, uh, just now just we, that we added, mm -hmm. uh, it's very thin. Mm -hmm. You get different that. types of vermicelli. If it is a little thick, then uh, it takes a longer time to cook. Yes. Just, okay. Uh, Okay, and so we add the tapioca in this. Nice. And so you're Great. just trying okay, to thicken so it. Cover that. Yeah, just to thicken yes. it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> nice, right. I like that. That's great. And so once this is cooked, we're going to be adding, adding some flavors that are yep. definitely Indian yeah, flavors. Yeah, cardamom <laughs> is definitely Indian, uh -huh. right? Um, it's very good for gum issues. Oh. Or people even, you know, for bad breath or any kind of gum issues, mm -hmm. is very good cardamom. I love it. So cardamom comes in pods, but we're adding the powder. Powder. Yep. Yeah. All right. Nice. Mix. I'll mix so that in. normally, would you cook it a while with the yes. with the vermicelli yeah. and the tapioca yeah. before you yeah. add everything? The else? tapioca should get a little soft. Because you're using the pearl tapioca. Yeah. Pearl, correct. Yeah. yeah. So it just needs to absorb the water and cook water. a little bit. Because mm -hmm. you could do minute tapioca, and that would be a lot quicker. True. Yeah, but uh, this is how we make it, <laughs> just to make it look authentic. So we need to be authentic. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. Like so that. the nuts can be turned off. Okay. Great. They're starting to brown. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. Anybody can replicate it. It's so easy, yes. just five to ten minutes, that's all. Okay, that's I got right. the right one. I know. So, <laughs> so this is boiling, it's cooking. It's cooking quite nicely. And so to this, we're actually going to add uh, our salt. We have a pinch of salt. I'm gonna add that in, that'll enhance the flavor even more. And then we're going to add in almond milk. Oh. Yeah. Almond creamer, actually. A little bit thicker okay. than the milk, okay. and it gives a really, really nice flavor. Oh, yeah, great. actually this dish has dairy, mm -hmm. but of course we have yeah. veganized or plant-based. Uh, altered it. Altered <laughs> yes. it, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And Ivan, do you want to tell us about the saffron that we're going to add next? Yes, the saffron is actually found in India mm -hmm. and also in some European countries like Spain and also South, South America. Yeah. It's abundant in northern part of India and it's also part of uh, the Indian flag as well, mm -hmm. the saffron color. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So it is very expensive but it's very healthy as well. Mm -hmm. We have to remember just to use a couple of strands. I can see there's hardly anything in yeah, here. You can also smell this. Ooh, that smells really good, yeah. doesn't it? It really adds a nice flavor, mm -hmm. and of course it adds a little color, too. That's right. Yeah, so is it going to color the whole thing reddish? Uh, no, no, just a little no. bit. Okay. Pretty much I'm going to add, that's it. That's all I'm going to add, actually. Oh, yeah. just a little bit? Just a little Boy, that's bit. that's great. Yeah. It's a great If smell. we add too much of saffron, it changes the taste. Yeah. And uh, so just so those are ready. Yep, those yeah. can go right in. Nice. And then we add the nuts to it. You can turn off the stove, actually. Okay. So normally, would you cook it longer with the um, pearl tapioca, or we? As really long good? as the tapioca is soft, that means it's cooked. Okay. And that's yes. it. Yes. And then we can turn. The tapioca off. becomes a little bit more transparent, a little bit clearer yes. too, and that's how you can know when it's cooked. Yeah. So some of the smaller pieces are starting to turn, uh, but yeah, we'd cook it a little bit longer. Yeah. And yeah. then you serve it warm or cold? Warm. Warm. It's warm, yeah. Nice. Yes. We got some over here. Yeah, so we've got the finished product. I'm going to just spoon out of here. Yes. Mmm. I love it. <laughs> you know what I like the most? Is the mix of cardamom and saffron. Yes. Like the flavor of the two together is fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, man, that's wonderful. It's been a great joy.
to cook with you all. Just God has blessed you in your ministry. And I know we have just a moment and we want to put up their contact information so you can contact them for yourself. But could you share a short testimony? Sure. Um, we've been offering cooking demonstrations and classes in New York City for almost more than three years now. And we come into a lot of contact with a lot of people who have actually left our church, the Adventist mm. church. Mm -hmm. And they actually come to our cooking demonstrations without even knowing we are Adventists. Okay. Um, so it is a great opportunity for us to reconnect with them. Yeah. Uh, we also make sure we have uh, Amazing Facts health literature that we hand out with them, to them. And also it's been a wonderful opportunity for us to connect with people through our pop-up restaurants, mm -hmm. even people who have left the church. Amen. Yeah. And as well, of course, as the public. Absolutely. You know, it's exciting because to me the health message is the right arm of the gospel, as it were. And you know how important the right arm is to the body. So the health message opens the way and prepares the way for evangelism. Right now what we want to do is put up contact information for Heidi's Health Kitchen. If you are interested in having them come to your community, to your church, to do cooking classes, if you want more information about the pop-up restaurant or these yummy karubis or <laughs> any of the products that they have, here is how you can contact them and I know that they appreciate not only your prayers but your financial support. Amen. <laughs> Heidi's Health Kitchen is committed to offering delicious, healthy, vegan foods that are appealing to the senses. If you would like to know more, you can write to Heidi's Health Kitchen, Post Office Box 232, Babylon, New York, 11702. That's Heidi's Health Kitchen, Post Office Box 232, Babylon, New York, 11702. You can call 631-663-3128. That's 631-663-3128 or visit them online for events, food, and more at Heidi'sHealthKitchen.com. That's Heidi'sHealthKitchen.com. Welcome back. We're here with our delicious spread of delectable desserts from Heidi's Health Kitchen. And what a blessing it's been. And I have so enjoyed eating these, and I know <laughs> that you at home are going to enjoy them as well. Let's take a look at what we made today. We have our ice cream sandwiches. Yes, strawberry ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Yummy, that was fabulous. And next to that is the? The berry tart squares. We made the squares and the little mini tarts. I love that. And then of course we have our carob nut butter cups. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was fabulous. Healthy version of a Reese's peanut butter cup. That's right. Next and to then raw peanut butter balls mm -hmm. and then the and they were very good the raw peanut butter balls it's great you. flavor with that yeah. mm -hmm. and then the um, carob nut clusters and then the final one is the payasum yes that wonderful south you said it was south, south indian. indian yeah yes yes that's <laughs> wonderful you know what i really like about this is the milk drink that we had after yes <laughs> the little milk drink <laughs> <laughs> now do you create uh, dr um, drinks like mocha drinks? We or? do. We do at our pop-up restaurant. We serve the mocha drink. We also make um, a, van a vegan mango lassi Ooh. and other lassis that we serve as dessert drinks at our pop-up restaurant. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. You guys have the whole thing together. Yeah. So currently we're operating as a pop-up restaurant mm -hmm. in Manhattan and also in Amen. Long Island. That's so wonderful. we want to do it in Brooklyn. All the fire boroughs pretty much. Amen. <clears throat> what wonderful outreach. Thank you both for coming. Thank you for Thank sharing you. what God has given you with our family at home. It's been a joy. And we hope that you have enjoyed the program as much as I've enjoyed eating the food. Take these recipes to your home and to your heart. Share them with your friends and your family. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>